braving the snow to go see Insidious 10.30 at night on the night that it comes out. It's Tatiana and Dan America <laughs> for your middle class movie review. We are in no way experts, we're just middle class people who will tell you if a movie is worth seeing and what it's worth to spend money on. This week we're going to be reviewing Jumanji, Insidious, The Greatest Showman, and Star Wars. The Last Jedi. So to start off, the Insidious, uh, it's Insidious The Last Key. It's the fourth movie in the installment. I just saw it last night on opening night. There's like no one here right now. It's awesome. I'm at the 10.30 show of Insidious. And hopefully we have the theater to ourselves. It's, you don't have to see all the movies in sequence. It stands alone. It's either one of those love hates. It's entertaining, it's scary. I would probably give it matinee pricing, $10. Worth it to go see. You love it or you hate it but you can also rent it and enjoy it. <coughs> so I say, uh, Insidious, I'd rent it, you know? I would only pay a dollar to see Insidious since there's so many of them. So you are giving it? A rental price. Rental price. All right, Star Wars. Star Wars, The Last Jedi. Some people love it, some people hate it. However, I feel that it is mandatory to see films such as Star Wars on the big screen, the whole nine yards. Where's the, this one? <laughs> Prime time, that's right. All right, next up, The Greatest Showman. Now, this stars Hugh Jackman, Michelle Williams, and Zac Efron. It is a story of P.T. Barnum and how he started the circus and how Bailey got involved to start Barnum and Bailey's Circus. Now, I had no idea this was a musical walking to the theater. So, disclaimer, if you don't like musicals or singing, do not go see this movie, maybe do rental prices. <laughs> um, if you do like musicals, it's phenomenal. Uh, Hugh Jackman's voice is amazing, Zac Efron's voice is amazing, and you feel like you're watching a circus on the big screen. I would probably go see it in a matinee and enjoy. Um, I don't know if I would spend prime time prices on it, but it's definitely worth seeing. I don't mind musicals. I would go see the matinee because I like Hugh Jackman and I like musicals. As a kid, I wanted to be Danny Zuko. The last movie we're reviewing is Jumanji. This is my prime time $25 movie. This movie was a comedy. They did not try to redo Jumanji. They rebooted it, made it a comedy, and there's just something very hilarious about seeing Jack Black play a hot 2016 selfie taking girl. There's something hilarious about seeing The Rock play a nerdy and secure teenage boy and Kevin Hart play a linebacker. Bit of a spoiler alert here. We were talking earlier about this, mm -hmm. and you said that there is continuity between this movie and the Robin Williams There movie. is. There's a little bit, and it sets it up in the beginning for Therefore, continuity. it is not a reboot. <laughs> However, Jumanji is Jumanji. I don't think I would go with the $25. I think I would do matinee to see it. If it's a continuation and not a reboot, then it is not worth the rental. It is indeed a matinee. And that's your uh, middle class movie review.